Tonight, I want to send my sincerest condolences to the family, friends, and loved ones of Suzanne Summers. She passed away tonight, just one day before her 77th birthday. Suzanne Summers, the actress who lit up the small screen on Three's Company and one of TV's most iconic fitness women, has died, according to a statement provided to CNN from her longtime publicist, R. Curry Hay. She was 76 years old. She says in a statement, quote, Suzanne Summers passed away peacefully at home in the early morning hours of October 15th. She survived an aggressive form of breast cancer for over 23 years. The statement says that Summers was surrounded by her loving husband, Alan, her son, Bruce, and her immediate family. Her family was gathered to celebrate her 77th birthday, which would have been tomorrow, October 16th. Instead, they will celebrate her extraordinary life and want to thank her millions of fans and followers who loved her dearly. In July, Summers revealed a reoccurrence of breast cancer. She wrote on Instagram, since I have been taking time off from work, many of you have asked for more details about my health. As you know, I had breast cancer two decades ago and every now and then it pops up again and I continue to bat it down. This is not new territory for me. I know how to put on my battle gear. I am a fighter. She was first diagnosed with the disease in 2001 and she revealed this in an interview with Larry King. So she was one of my favorite actresses. She was just hilarious on, on Three's Company. It says, Summer's multifaceted career spanned decades. Yes, she was best known for her role as Chrissy Snow on the hit ABC sitcom, Three's Company, that ran through the early 70s and early 80s. She went on to author multiple books, including bestsellers, quote, Sexy Forever, Knockout, and Ageless. She also hosted her own talk show and became a wellness entrepreneur. You guys remember the Thigh Master, <laughs> which she sold millions of those. She went on Wendy Williams and she told the story about how she got fired from Three's company for wanting to be paid, you know, the same amount that the men were being paid. And she said that after, you know, Thigh Master, like in its heyday, um, she told Wendy Williams, like, you know, I think it was around like 10 years ago, she said while she was on the show that she sold, you know, tens of millions. And so she thought that that was like her revenge, right? Back at the whoever was casting for Three's Company who fired her. She says she got her revenge with making a very nice coin off of Thighmaster. So Suzanne Summers began acting in the early 1960s with a series of uncredited film roles. And then in 1973, she earned her first on-screen credit as quote, a blonde, a T-bird in George Lucas's Oscar nominated film, American Graffiti. Throughout the seventies, Summers appeared in various TV shows, including One Day at a Time, The Love Boat, Starsky and Hutch before landing her own breakout role as Chrissy Snow. She starred along the late John Ritter in Joyce DeWitt. Summers played the buoyant typing receptionist for five seasons from 1977 through 1981. The sitcom was a huge success and catapulted Summers into stardom. She says, being number, the number one show in the country, there was a collective consciousness because about half of everybody watching television on TV nights were watching Three's Company. She says, I feel very fortunate that I got in in that moment of time. This was during her 2015 interview at CNN. Summer uh, said that she worked hard to bring the dimension to her bubbly blonde character in a 2012 interview. She says, quote, I understood something way back when I was on Three's Company. When I got the part, I was flat broke. I was so happy to get the part, but I kept thinking, ugh. Dumb, <laughs> dumb blondes are so irritating. How do I make her likable? I think I achieved that. It took a while for people to realize that I was acting. Her time on Three's Company ended in 1981 after Summers asked producers for a raise 
to match John Ritter's salary the year prior. I did not plan to be this person. I really like being Chrissy Snow on TV. I didn't plan to be the unofficial first feminist when I demanded equal pay, she told Entrepreneur in the 2020. Adding men were making 10 to 15 more, oh man, times more than me, including John Ritter. And the network decided to make an example of me so that no other woman would have the audacity to ask for equal pay. I lost that great job and I was so devastated at the time. But life is about veiled gifts. I was suddenly kicked out on the streets, but I kept reinventing myself. And my husband and I decided we wouldn't work for anyone ever again. She went on to become a popular entertainer in Las Vegas following her exit from the sitcom. In 1987, Summers was named Las Vegas Female Entertainer of the Year alongside of Frank Sinatra. What was it unfair that happened to me at ABC? Yes, of course it was unfair, but life isn't fair. You have to get over things and move forward. I know that's right. <laughs> so she later starred in, you know, all kind of TV series. She's the sheriff, the um, Larry Sanders show, The Simpsons, Full House. And then in 1991, this was my favorite role from her. The scripted TV magic Summers found in Three's Company struck again when she landed the role of Carol Foster Lambert in a family-friendly sitcom, Step by Step. So she was on there until 1998. And she also had a popular talk show called The Suzanne Show on Lifetime. I love it. I think that she had, you know, a life well-lived. She was truly an icon. She says in an interview years later that the concept for the infomercial came when a pair of her Manolo Blahnik shoes she was showing off to her husband. She said, I was walking out of my dressing room in my underwear and I asked my husband, do you like my new shoes? And he said, great legs. And he, and she went, oh my goodness, that's the commercial. That's how we start the commercial, if you recall. And she said she went on to sell 10 million thigh masters right out of the gate. And she went on to author more than two dozen wellness books, many of which became New York Times bestsellers. In uh, recent years, she partnered on several natural beauty products. She spoke and wrote often about growing older without fear. She says, today I love aging because I found a new way to age. My weight is what it was when I was in my 20s and since Dancing with the Stars. My body has changed for the <laughs> for the better my husband says it's like having a mistress, and I'm okay with that. She was married for five decades, and her Summers and her husband remained very much in love, and the two took great pride in their family. Other, other than that, she says, my work and health is my greatest accomplishment. Well, you had many accomplishments, Suzanne, and we will miss you. You guys, drop down in the comments. Let me know your favorite you know, role from Suzanne Summers? Do you remember her more from Three's Company or like me, Step by Step or, you know, any of the um, guest appearances that she made? Did you like her talk show? I want to hear from you guys. But again, my sincere condolences to the Summers family. And I am so grateful that, you know, she was so open and transparent about her health journey. Please get tested. You know, if you are over 40, um, get a mammogram. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so I know that she was a big advocate about that, especially, again, you know, her birthday being so close to the day that she passed away. It was only a day apart. Um, but during that time, from the time she came into this world until the, the time that she left it, she has made a huge impact, not only on myself, but on people around the world. And you will be missed, Suzanne Summers. With that being said, I hope that you have a wonderful evening. Please be sure to like the video, share if you haven't, or subscribe if you have not done so already. And I will talk with you later. Take care, aces. Bye.